bars in there. Take this nothing, you'll be rich. But wait, before midnight, you have to bring me a jump or else. Wait, where did it go? Where? Wait, what does he mean by what does he mean by or else? Is this a cave? Maybe. We went through we yeah, Figure out how many gems and necklaces in, are in this room. But the old man took them all. I don't care. Figure it out. What are we gonna do? At least give us a hint. Fine. There are ten more necklaces and gems. How about we do try to figure it out? Here, I'll put some bullet points to help us remember. I got it, 21. Of course that's not the answer. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the total starts with five and the last number is not even or odd. Hmm. Maybe we can do 20. I got it, 50 equals 50, I even checked it. We got it. Yes. Oh, Just Well, I'll take that later. The old man stole 30 necklaces and 20 gems. Correct. Wait, it can't be this easy. Me? No! Are you okay? Go on without me. No! Are you okay? Yes. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's go. she is a
Have the process. Step one, describe and draw about the situation. Step two, define the variable, which is g equals gem and g plus 10 equals necklaces. Step three, do, add all the numbers that you tried. Step four, decide if it's the right answer. Step five, declare what the answer is, which is 50. Um, we got G. G stands for gems and G plus 10 stands for necklaces. If we add them together, it equals 50, which is the total of gems and necklaces. We tried 21 and then we add them together and it equals 52, which was way too large. Then we tried 20 and it equals 50, so it's correct. So declaring it, there are 30 necklaces and 20 gems were stolen. Oh, I'm sorry.